Hey, it's Poetry Friday, and today I am excited because I'm prepping for a poetry party with the Souvenirs, the Poetry Appreciation Club that I started back in college, the 15th anniversary. We're having a party. So what do you do to get ready for a poetry party? Well, first you have to pick out what to wear. There's the original souvenir shirt, which I designed, I didn't draw the picture, but I came up with the idea of a man whose head is open and poetry is being poured inside, which is a reference to our motto, Tet Bien Plen, or a well-filled head, putting all that good poetry in our minds. Or there was Ashley's version, which uh, had the name and motto on the front, and on the back, it has a great quote from John Fowles, We all write poems. It is simply that poets are the ones who write in words. And it had a whole bunch of poetry pictures, poets on the back. There was Matt Hanley's shirt, which uh, in design looked pretty awesome, but then um, for some reason we didn't get the color palette right. So instead of contrasting orange and red colors, the cool flying chicken um, was all red. But it says souvenirs and has a giant chicken on it. This one was kind of after my time. I think it was Nathan's design. I heart Beowulf. Kind of awesome. Or there was the shirt with the souvenirs crest on it, drawn by, I believe, Ashley Carr. It has the motto. It has all kinds of lovely poetic symbolism all over it. And a couple of the muses hanging out by the side there. I have it hanging in my classroom as our flag to poetry. And of course, as with all good events, it's good to have a promotional poster to get you pumped and excited about poetry. Here are some of the classic posters that Joe came up with back when we were in the original years of the souvenirs, midway on our year's journey, the last meeting of the semester. Or that time that we read Beowulf through, Hrothgar's really pumped. Or that time that we read through Dante, the time has come. Or there was that wonderful time that Caitlin Hammett and I had a duel over Lady of Shalott. And of course, somebody's got to bring a camera and document all the awesome things you do in a poetry party. Like all these wonderful pictures to remind us of all the good old times. Hey, there's baby Mr. Nance reading poetry. And Matt reenacting the raven as I recited it dramatically. There's Joe. Matt and Andrea. Exciting fun times. And what's a poetry party without poetry? I gotta pick out which poem I am going to recite. I think I'm going to go with the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants with oyster shells. Streets that fall like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead us to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. And we've got to write it all up afterwards and send it out in a newsletter to all of our friends. Like these old vintage newsletters I found from our first year of souvenirs. Classic stuff. It's our We're Official Party. Looking back through all these old relics from my college days and the fun I used to have celebrating poetry, I am so excited for this reunion. And I'm going to take you along with me on my road trip. So here's to poetry. Happy Poetry Friday, and I will see you soon.